What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Total Warhammer. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today. So a bad thing has happened. A very, very bad thing has happened. Somehow the dwarves have managed to confederate all of Karak Azul. Karak Azul was a giant faction. I have no idea how they made this happen because the dwarves only held like a couple different regions and they just incorporated like everybody over here. And so that's a problem. That's definitely a problem. That's something that we're going to have to fix as time goes along. And I'm not sure if I have the proper hammer and nails to get her done. I'm going to move over to here. We've got our wog with us. I think what we'll do on the next turn is we'll probably go down into the underground. We'll hit Grim Garakas. Basically, I want to pick apart a lot of this stuff over here. And then we've got some capitals that I wanted to hit as well. If we could take like five territories with this wog, I think that would be a suitable gain to make me happy. We're going to have a rebellion over here pretty soon, which I'm doing my best to mitigate, but I think it's going to happen either way. So we might as well get it over with now. Let's continue trying to make ourselves some more cash as time goes along. We'll upgrade you to level 2. Throw some bits in there. There we go. And that's actually a pretty good turn for us. We've got a lot of stuff getting better. Now, this does not bode well for the top knots. I could take their stuff. And these guys are rotting to death right now. That's a big thing you need to be aware of. Is they are just sitting here being weaker and weaker and weaker. Because they're trying to siege this place and starve it out. I could come back over and try to fight them off. With this army. It's doable. And it would make the top knots like me. And then I could also confederate the top knots. Which would give me Ekrand. Which would be a pretty good acquisition for our faction right now. We have research that we need to get done. We can go with... Big lever, we can go with the, ooh, the Arachnorok Spider. Yeah, get the Arachnorok Spider. That's our super unit. The nice thing about the dwarves, I'm sorry, about the orcs is that they have no, no hard time getting access to their super unit. Some factions have to do quests and other stuff in order to get their supers, whereas that is not us. We just kind of get ours. Okay, so Argor Muckraker is back. That's a really, really good thing because I need an agent in the field right here. Out here in the field, I stab for my meals. Uh, where is he at? Out of curiosity. He should be in Black Crag, right? I mean, I suppose the easiest way to find him would be ah. What? All right, so you little goblin git needs to go over here and stab you some stunnies. If we can cause problems in their leadership, that'd be absolutely great. In the meantime, we'll continue moving you off to the west just to ensure that once this rebellion happens that we have someone in place who can mess with it. I could incorporate their territory. Absolutely, I could. Oh, we're not at war with the dwarves. Well, we're about to be. Like, I'm more than happy to throw down with them right now because I have the advantage. Do not sully my presence any longer than you. And so we've now declared war. And Dringo Rackas is up next. We'll take Dringo Rackas, and then from there we'll go after Crooked Fang Fort. And then from there we'll go after everything up here that we can take. Essentially, we just want to drain off as much of their income as we can. Not going to have much luck pressing west across the... I don't know what this is, like Badlands over here. Pressing west across the Badlands is probably not the best plan at the moment, so we'll probably leave that alone. Meantime, he's about to lose troops due to fightiness. Oh, he loses units, too, if he goes over there. Well, that's fun. I don't know what I should do with him up here in Grand Peak. Because he can't really go down into this territory without taking a large amount of attrition. Can I get over there by using the underway? Yeah, if I can get into Zufbar by using the Underway, I might be able to do something over here. It's weird that we can't have more agents. How do I get more agents? I need further agents. That's what I really, really need. Like, how do I make this... 
little one for one thing. With my building browsers, we get a shaman hero capacity plus one from that one right there. And then we can get trolls from this side. Trolls are pretty good. Trolls are definitely a pretty fantastic acquisition. So it looks like there's probably a building in here somewhere that controls. Us getting more goblin guys. But I would have to look at the troop hierarchy here in order to find it. That right there is how we get further shamans. Hmm. Don't look like we have much of an option right there. We've got a little bit of cash laying around. Not like a lot, but some. Let's go ahead and work on our obedience in some of these other areas. He's about ready to go. It'll either kick off from Bitterstone or it'll kick off from over here. Now, these guys are taking pretty serious attrition at trying to seize this place, so I may come down and sweep the leg, as it were. I'll give it a turn or two, though. we got to get down there to fight with them first. But actually, if we could win that one, that would give us a good fightiness army on this side of our territory as well. Now, he's got more of his little scaldy guys out here, his thanes or whatever. So we'll have to solve them in just a minute, but this game is about problems and solving them. I can keep announcing problems as long as we want, but the truth of the matter is the top knots have been obliterated, which is unfortunate. The Von DLs are attacking us. Zufbar is going to have a rebellion soon. They're now replenishing. He's that level 23 guy, so we'll come over here. I'm going to try and get rid of this little lobby one so that we can level up a little bit. I'll start messing with their lords, too, in just a few minutes. Dringo Rackas. We'll go ahead and knock that over. We should be easy enough. We've got the Lichbone Pennant. The sigil on this banner is old and hurts the eyes to gaze upon it. Yet those who walk under it battle are protected by an arcane shield. That's really, really good. We also got a pit boss who gives us melee attack plus two. Orcs like a good scrap in the local fighting pit. The pit boss sets up the fights and keeps it within the rules. Nice. Fighting it should be pretty over the top right about now. In addition, our little orcish units should be getting stronger. Because you got to look after your orcish unit. I mean, you're in combat a lot as an orc. Chances are your unit may take some damage from time to time. Every now and again, it might get a couple scratches, dings, and dents on it. And if you can't look out for your unit in life, what can a man look out for if you can't look out for his unit? So we've got Dringo Rackas over here. This place is like falling apart. Huh. <laughs> Just even that out for a turn or two. It's probably similar over here. We've got like... Well, actually, corruption is one of our major issues on that side. Let's go ahead and get rid of the extorted income. That would probably help a bit. They're not really paying out that much anyways. Velaya Sorrow, on the other hand, is worth a bunch of cash. Unfortunately, ain't much I can do about that one. Next time, we'll go over to Crooked Fang Fort. Do you have a level up? I figured. Every time you win in this game, it seems like you get a level up, so I always try to check. Foe Seeker's only 12 seconds. Hit points would be nice. He actually doesn't have that many hit points by comparison to some of the other lords in the game. Might be a decent plan, but let's stick to what we've got first here. We'll take his choppas up. Make his choppas extra hard.
Got income coming from there. Let's go ahead and continue padding our finances as best we can. And then we'll start worrying about the dwarves in a minute. If they want to attack this western front, they can absolutely go after it because it's about to rebel anyways. Which is not really that good for me, so I don't really care. He's going to fall back into the shadow of his own lands. We've got another attack coming through. We are going to have to go after that sooner or later. Or at least sue for peace with the Vampire Lords so that we're not fighting along two fronts. Which is one of the great follies you can make tactically. A cloaked stranger from the mist strata. Oh, it's the Chaos guy again. Nah, I ain't need your money that bad. I need your money that badly. Uh, my suggestion would be to fall back. And then set up an ambush, possibly. Might be the smartest way to do this. And if we can assassinate their lord, that would also help. We've got a 50% chance to make it happen. He failed, but it's all part of the level up process. Uh, I do need him to get up to like level 20 or 25 so that we can start working him. Like, what is he doing right now? He's got Infiltrator, he's got Assassin, he's got Misdirector, which is not terrible. Okay. I'll keep on attempting to make him do what I want him to do before we go any further. On this side, we need to go into the underway. And through the underway, we're going to set up right here next to Crooked Fang. And we are going to siege this bish. Okay. With a boss tent, that one seems to be holding out, but with orcs, you can never quite tell. Sneak Backslider has low fightiness. Well, he needs it, so we're going to send him in. It's kind of our send in the clouds moment. We haven't fought a battle in a while, so you know what? I'm going to fight a battle. The field of battle is joined. Unfortunately, they've got tree cover, so I want tree cover. Give me tree cover. He's got himself a nice little vanguard of troops here. Not a lot of archers, though, which is bad. I would like to have more archers. And then we'll get some cavalry. God, we have so much cavalry. That's going to be a hell of a cavalry charge. And then these guys we put on skirmish mode. So that they just, like, annoy the enemy, essentially. Alright. And now we wait. I do need to get siege weapons so that I can do this better. But unfortunately, the enemy is aware of me. This is also messing with my cavalry efficiency. I can't really cavalry charge super well in a forest. Huh. Where is their lord? Because that's who we really need. When it comes to undead armies, you have to kill their lord. Because they've got this thing. They don't have morale. They've got this thing called binding. Which is essentially how well their lord is stitching them all together and making sure they don't fall apart. 
and taking care of their lord is like the number one priority for any army against the undead. You gotta focus everything on their lord, and if you can kill him off, then you'll be absolutely golden. But if you can't get rid of the lord, they'll stay on the field forever, and you'll have to slaughter him to the last man, which is a pain in the ass and not recommended. Luckily, they don't really have any ranged troops, so... I don't have to worry about that. Is that their lord right there? Where is he? Oh, I saw him for a second. He was back in there. Alright, you guys get in there. Once I see their lord, then we'll... There we go. Go after Rutger. All of you guys. And in the meantime... We'll have these guys slam into the backside of the army. Actually, help out over here with some of these little Vargul things. Or Vargeists. Sorry. We gotta win ourselves some fights here. Those guys should land eventually. I think. Yeah, they're getting chewed up right now. And so their bindings should be crumbling. Let me get whoever these guys are. Let's have them attack on that side. With all of my cavalry guys, let's go ahead and get up in there. You guys got plenty of time. Or, you know, you can fight with Vargeist over here. That's cool, too. Forest battles have always been a problem for me in Total War because after the battle is joined, I wish they made the trees transparent or something in the areas that you actually have a view of. Now, this battle is being fought solely to fix his fightiness, by the way. We had talked about this briefly, but I wasn't sure how long I had talked about it. We essentially, it looks like actually their bindings are falling apart right now. If we can kill off one of their lords, that would also be really, really good for us. It'll cause them a little bit of pain. They'll get a little bit of cash back for losing a lord, but simultaneously... There he is. Go fight the Lord. Yeah, there you go, you barren zombie looking bastard. It's time to chew him on up. He should lose morale pretty quickly. You'll notice that tactic a lot when it comes to the undead because they don't want to have their main guy in combat. They try to keep him out of it because it's basically insta-fail if he goes down. Fighting pretty well along this line. We got archers over here who are doing jack shit nothing, so they kind of need to help out with stuff. That'd be cool. Are you guys fighting with anybody right now, or are you guys just like chilling there? Okay, if you're just chilling there, go ahead and help out on this flank since there's no room for us to fight with Rutger anyways. There you go. Apparently we are fighting with ghosts over here. I don't know exactly how that all comes together. How do you kill that which is immaterial? Can't answer that question for you, but it looks like it's getting done, so who cares? Job's done. Yes, me lord? Of course. More pleasure. Alright, so we will continue stabbing Rutger Gorst, although I think we could probably speed up the animation at this point and be fairly well resolved. I don't think they have much left on the battlefield. Yeah, it's pretty much just these units over here that need help. And we've killed their lord. So let's go ahead and end this battle. Not my best fight, but things went okay. I mean, we lost a little bit. We also gained some cash, so that's pretty cool. We need to... Let's take the leadership bonus. Rutger Gorst has perished in battle at Zufbar. So we managed to kill ourselves a vampire or a lich or something like that. And then Sneak Backslider has gotten himself the Armor of Fortune. 
which gives him ward save, physical resistance, and armor, which is not actually so terrible. That should get his fightiness up by a little bit. We'll put him back in town, which apparently does not help us at all. I may have to run back to my own territory then. Just to try and get rid of the attrition that's coming after us. He did level up though, which is pretty cool. So we'll keep that nice and settled. I'll probably give him a war boar so that he can ride a little bit better. And we'll give him a wyvern later. I like the mounts. The mounts tend to make your guys pretty efficient in combat. Tends to help out a little bit if you got yourself a tiny bit of mounted assistance. And then, did we do anything over here? Is this done? Okay, that's done. So it's on to the next turn then. And hopefully I didn't forget anything. They will more than likely... The undead, that is, strike back over there. Ah, we were apparently discovered, which sucks. We saw through our ambush. They've got rock lobbers. They're pretty high level, actually. We may have problems with this. We do have the larger army, however. Hmm... Kind of depends how we want to play it, I guess. I'm gonna rush their, I'm gonna rush their artillery as hard as I can with some of my cavalry, and hopefully that'll work out. We probably aren't gonna have time to fight this entire battle in this episode, so in order to keep that from bleeding on over, what I'll do is I'll call it right here. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me for the next episode of Total Warhammer. I will see you all in the next episode. It should be pretty satisfactory. I think we can win this battle. I just think it's gonna take a little bit of doing. Uh, if we end up losing it, that's going to have long-lasting complicate. It's going to have effects on our western border. But since we have a wog running right now, we should be able to conquer pretty much with impunity on the eastern side. So that's probably what I'll focus on from here on in. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for stopping on in. I'm always tremendously thankful for the fact that there's so many people out there that like to support me every day by coming to the channel and checking out my videos. I will see you all in future episodes. Bye, everybody, and thanks for stopping on in.